Hey y'all, Rochelle here, your delightful crafter, my little sidekick, Karma. Um, I believe some of y'all are here based on the title of this video. The long-awaited, I guess, remaining um, Stamparosa House Mouse stamps from Miss Maria are now up for your, I guess, perusing and ability to add to your House Mouse collections. I'm hoping Karma... Um, does it make this too difficult? Um, any physical stamps you see up here are only up here for size reference for y'all. Um, if you're not familiar with Stamparosa and House Mouse, um, because the stamps that you're going to be seeing, I'm showing you off of my iPad. Um, and then, uh, they are labeled. You would then email Miss Maria. Let her know the stamps that you are interested in. They are going to be on a first come first serve and um, it will be PayPal only. We discussed, Miss Maria and I discussed that and it just felt it would be easier tracking purposes all the way around. The prices for the stamps are large, are $10 each. The mediums are eight and the smalls are uh, six. If you are not familiar with Stamparosa and House Mouse, you're thinking, well, that's kind of a high price per stamp um, for a quote unquote secondhand or used stamp. But um, these are really, these are highly collectible. Um, Stamparosa House Mouse, House Mouse period, has a very um, loyal following. And the Stamparosa ones are kind of like the the blue ribbon, the gold medal, the platinum jewelry of <laughs> of uh, collecting for House Mouse. At least that is in my world. And um, so I prize them, I seek them, and um, I treat them like my babies because I love them so much. So, um, the prices are very fair. If you were to go onto eBay, you would see that, uh, they actually command, um, higher prices and they're usually not, well, I'm going to say for the most part, they're not going to be in the same quality, um, or condition that Miss Maria has kept hers in. She, I have, um, you can see the front, you can see the actual images, and she's also sent me the backs so you can see the condition they're in. Some of them may be a little darker because they have been used, but even though that they've been used, they are still in fantastic condition, especially, you know, if you've seen the batches that I've brought in and have shared on my channel, you'll, you'll understand what I'm talking about. They're almost in brand new condition because she's taken such great care of them. With that... Um, we are going to try to do this with Karma up here. She's mad at me today um, because I'm a traitor. Um, I went over to the rescue that I foster for. And um, there will be a new foster in my house next week. So on my birthday, I will re be bringing home a new foster baby. He is a one-year-old Maine Coon. And he's huge. He's 16 pounds. And we figure he's going to get up to at least 25 pounds. But if you're familiar with Maine Coons, you know, that's pretty standard. Anywho, we are here for the mice, not the cats. So the first, the first ones I'm sharing are the large. And um, this is the best that we can do this as far as sharing it on my channel. And as far as large, this is a large stamp. Um, hence why they command the $10 price. She was not seeking to make any profit. She's just trying to recoup her investment in her stamps. And most of these have prices, still have their prices on them. And the largest, I think, ranged anywhere from 12 to, I think, $15 when they were brand spanking new. Um... This here is considered a medium, so size comparison. These are my stamps. These ones are not for sale, um, so that you can see the size difference. It's pretty considerable. 
it's almost half the size of a large and then these kind of fall in the small range right here um, and uh, this this one's mine but she does have one of these in the small this is an absolutely adorable image um, this is another one that you're gonna see in um, the images that she has uh, that she's selling honestly I probably should have snagged hers because <laughs> I think it's in better condition, but I already have it and I'm not going to deprive somebody else. So we're going to get started here. These are labeled L for large. There's M for medium and S for small. Then they're labeled one, um, I believe there's 45 large stamps that are available um, up for your ability to add to your house mouse family. And... There's about, I think, 17 per image. And I'm going to try to bring them up for you and so that you can write down the number of the image you want. I don't have the names for all of these. I can tell you quite a few of these are very, very hard to find. And um, let's see if I can blow these up. So as an L1, L2, uh, the red dots have been, I have... After looking at them, I decided that they needed to be part of my family after all. So the red dots are, they're taken. They're not available. I'm going to try to blow these up for you guys to see. Um, I can tell you that this one is a hard one to get. Um, the bulk of these on this screen are very hard to find. If you're not familiar with House Mouse, uh, there is actually five, five in the family. There's Amanda, Monica, Maxwell, Mud Pie, and Muzzy. And then they have friends. And there can be mice friends and there can be animal friends. Since I don't have the stamps in front of me, I can't really tell you who is who unless I know the image. So this is L1 and L2. Here is L3 and L4. This one is adorable. I, I have that one. Then you have L5 right there. That is like the little pet clinic. If you look closely, there's a little pet iguana. Um, somebody, he's got a pet frog. I think that's a, someone's got a little baby pet turtle. Super, super, super adorable. That is L5. Oh, we have L6 right here. They're kind of flying around with the fall leaves as the wind blows. We have L7 right here. Oh, sorry. And they're feeding sugar cubes to the horse. I can tell you the itty bitty baby right there. That's Monica. Uh, here they are, L8. They are hanging laundry. L9. Um, that is Mud Pie. I'm not. I don't know if you can see it in the image. He's got a nicked ear. Mud Pie has a nicked ear, and um, he loves to eat. L10. We have a gingerbread house. Um, L11. We have this gumball machine. Uh, L12. Um, I believe this one's called Spittin' Sunflower Seeds. That's one of my favorites. Um, I'm actually making my daughter's birthday card with this one because she absolutely is madly in love with sunflowers. So each one of these is $10 a piece. So that is L1 through L12. And then there's the back sides of them. So you can see that they have been kept in very, very good condition. Her husband actually built her special drawers to store all these in. Um, so she can just pull the drawer out and see what she wants. On to the next set. Um, we have L13, 14, and 15. And uh, I think that's Muzzy. I think. Um, it says Dear Mud Pie. Okay, so this is Maxwell. No, that's not Maxwell because Maxwell has a curly tail. Sorry. Super, super cute. Um, 
I'm not sure who these two are. There is a series. There's like a lemonade series. You'll see another lemonade one in here somewhere. Um, I think this one's called Blowing Bubbles or Lemonade Bubbles because I have that one. We have L15 right here. That's probably Monica and Amanda. Um, I'm not sure. Then they're over here, L16. Uh, they're making gingerbread men. L17, uh, they're dancing on the um, piano keyboards. L18, they're sitting here playing cards. And look, uh, he's, he's sneaking a peek at somebody's cards right there. L19, they've kind of been mowing down on the Christmas cookies, the gingerbread cookies that somebody hung on their Christmas tree. L20, um, they're sitting there. I, I can't remember which one this is, but it, this one is really, really adorable. Um, I have it. Uh, L21, they're decorating their little pine cone tree with little um, like holly berries. L22, L23, that one's really sweet. Um, that one has been confiscated. So that is the front of these. Um, so again, this is L13 through L23. So if you need to pause the video to... Um, Make your choices or rewind. I'm trying to go kind of slow on this for y'all. I know this isn't ideal. But it was the best way that we figured that we could um, share these. So that more people had the opportunity to add these to their collections. Here are the backs. So you can see again, very, very well taken care of. Um, you have to keep in mind that some of these stamps were... Um, put out in the late 80s, early 90s. So quite a few of these. Well, st actually, Stampa Rosa, I believe, went out of business in 2000. I think by 2006, they were out of business. So you got to figure um, the bulk of these are over 20 years old. So just something to think about. Our next batch of large... We have L24, and um, I want to say that is probably Muzzy right there. And he's uh, doing something with the Christmas lights on the tree, and all the baby mice are around him checking it out. L25, it's like raining confetti. L26, they are on leaves again. And they are, the wind is blowing. They're like letting the leaves kind of be like their little parachutes, I think. L27, it's another um, computer image. And I can't remember what that one is called. L28, I think this one is called um, Lipstick and Lip Liner. And this is, I want to, that's Mud Pie, so that's, then that's Maxwell. How do I know it's Maxwell? He's got a little curly tail. L29, they're blowing dandelions. L30, um, they're feeding the little baby mice. Look at that applesauce for baby. L31. Um, this is bath time, and if you read it, it says shampoo, um, I can't read the whole thing, not in these images. Then we have L32, somebody's going after the, the olive in the bottom of the martini, no, L33, um, that is Maxwell, and he's hiding, I think, up in the branch. L34, it's they're giving medicine to the baby. L35, the image is hard to see, but they're actually flying around on hummingbirds. And you can't see it, um, but the mice are holding um, like honeysuckle in front of them so that the, the hummingbirds are chasing the honeysuckle. 
There's L36. Um, I think that's I think that's Monica, and that's actually supposed to be snow that's falling. There's L37. Uh, something about golfing. I don't follow golf, so I kind of let that one pass. And then, as you can see, the backs are in very, very good condition. A few have been used, but she, you know, she cleans them up very well. Um, again, she treats these, you know, these are like prize babies for her. And again, she wants them to go to homes that are going to love them. Nope. Yep. Okay. Um, the last batch of large. This is it on the large stamps. And um, we have L38. This is the second in a gingerbread series here. There's two, I think, in the gingerbread series. We have L39. And they're decorating a little branch with... I'm going to say that's probably jelly beans. They love jelly beans. We have another sunflower here. Um, right there, number L40. We have L41, and I think this one's called Throwing Hearts, is what that one's called. I, I can't, I honestly can't remember. Then we have L42, and it's probably Baby Monica, and she's getting a little drop of water out of the flower. We have L43, and, you know, she's pretending to be a baby bird, which is funny because there's another baby bird one, and the mouse realized it's bugs. And they're like, uh-uh, I don't do bugs. <laughs> we have L44. And, you know, um, she loves me. She loves me. Now, I don't think that's what that one's called. But that's what I think of when I see it. We have L45. And he's throwing or juggling corn kernels. And I confiscated that one. So, again, we have L38. Through L45. The next uh, is going to, of course, you can see the backs of them. And honestly, I think this one's kind of dark because I think it's a shadow there. But um, again, she takes excellent care of her stamps. This is the beginning of the mediums. And uh, let's get this out here. Uh, quite a few of these are super, super adorable. Uh, this one, I believe, is called Broken Teacup. Um, I just acquired that one. Absolutely love it. Super cute. That's Maxwell. He broke the teacup. And he tried to tape it back together. Here's another one in the Lemonade series. <clears throat> and I think it's called um, Lemon Pucker or Pucker Kiss or something. But they bit into the lemon and their lips are all puckered, you know, because they're sour. That's M2. Again, sorry for the glare. Uh, M3, uh, they are letting a dragonfly pull them through the air. M4, um, he's trying to get his tongue blown um, cooled off because he was biting into some hot fireballs. M5, um, he's got a headache, and so he's taking some aspirin. M6, I think it's called seed spitting. Or apple, uh, apple seed spit or something like that. <clears throat> M7. Then there's M8. And it's, uh, I think it's called Weighing Baby. I was so excited when I found that one and got to add it. M9. They're kind of like in a chocolate coma. Because uh, I believe those are maraschino chocolates. So... <laughs> Um, the mice love chocolate, um, gumdrops, jelly beans, and peppermint sticks. They're always getting into that stuff. Um, and then the only other one left is Awesome down here, number M13. Oh, I skipped. I apologize. M10, I think this is called Haircut. And then we have M11 right there. Um, they are blowing bubbles from the gumballs that they got out of the gumball machine. We have M12 right there. They are feeding the baby. It's a little baby bottle. And then back to M13. It's memos. 
next screen is we have the backs right there so there is a little discoloration on this one here and I think it's probably from um, just its age and I would buy it but I already have it so what's you know what's the point and I've already gotten uh, quite a few for my sister uh, so, and that's it for the mediums. The last image, the one we're about to see is, um, the, the only image of smalls. And there's, I think only seven or eight, um, eight, there's only eight. All right. We have S1. So this is joy to the world. And as you can see, they're sitting there singing and reading the, um, verses and, and notes. S2. They're sitting there singing at the top of the tree. S3, um, they're kind of like in a cupcake coma. They've been munching on the cupcake and they're full. S4, this one is so, so sweet. So that is this one. So you can see how big it is. This is a small. Um, and then here is this one right here. This is S8. These are mine. Again, these ones are not the ones for sale. I have them here for size comparison for y'all. <clears throat> so here they're sleeping under the... That one is actually called... I'll tell you what that one's called. It is called Kitty Snuggle is what that one's called. Then we have S5 again. Um, throwing, you know, like I said, the little... What is it? What, what is it? The daisies you use and you pick the petals. I love you. I love you not. We have Merry Christmas right here. And then we have Fa La 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 right there. And then the la this little bitty one here is called Cozy Mitten. So you get a good look at that one. And that apparently is Mud Pie who's taken a nap in the mitten. 1999. So, and then there's the back of those. So as you can see, um, fantastic condition. I will kind of like go back a little bit so y'all can attempt to get the images and the codes if there's something that you are interested in. Again, the ones that are in red, they are already spoken for. So L24 through L37 on this one. And there, that's it. That is all of the stamps that are part of this quote unquote, I guess addition. Um, my next installment I will be taking care of on my birthday, which is on the 29th next Friday. And that finishes off the stamp of roses. Um, Miss Maria has an equally large, Stampendous and Stampabilities collection. And so I will be slowly adding those. Um, and the prices for those will be the same. And oh my goodness. She's been collecting these since the beginning. So some of these are very, very, very hard to get a hold of. Um, they're slowly, more of them are slowly coming out on the market, but even still you're paying a penny. Um, the, I'm putting the email address at the top of the description. Um, uh, there's my standard, you know, 18 years of age and thing. And right below that is her email address. It is her husband's email. So it's her husband's name, but it is Miss Maria. She will answer them in the order that she receives them. When she gets the email, she will pull the stamps that you are interested in. 
aside, um, figure out the postage and the PayPal fee. Again, you, you do need to pay the PayPal fee. Um, we discussed that PayPal is going to be the only option to pay. For a minute, we thought check, but um, we, we've agreed that, that is, uh, we're not going to uh, track those. PayPal is just easier for everybody because she does enter the, the, the tracking number from the post office so that you, once it's shipped, she sends it to you and you can track it to your house. Um, I'll be honest. I did not ask her how long you have to pay once she notifies you. I will actually update that information in the description um, when I talk to her. And um, if you have not paid within the time, that time frame then those stamps that you have shown interest in will be back up for somebody else to choose. Um, if I email her and say I want L1 through L8, and then you come in behind me and say you say you want L6 through L10, well, I get first dibs on 6, 7, and 8, if that makes sense. Um, and that's just how it's going to be. And I, she will notify you if an image has already been spoken for. We are not planning on doing an update unless, uh, say, they don't sell. Then we may do a, like a secondary video somewhere down the road and list them. Any questions or comments, <clears throat> leave them down below. Feel free to shoot me an email if you'd like or shoot... Miss Marie an email. Um, she is pretty prompt at responding. And um, she packs very well. Um, I The batches that I have done have always been wrapped in bubble wrap. Um, and then air pa pockets. But I've also done very large batches. <clears throat> I would not wait. Um... I know that there's quite a few ladies out here who are waiting for this particular video. So if you do see an image that you want really bad, I would highly suggest um, contacting Miss Maria right away. Um, they are coming from Arizona. And so depending on where you are in the country, you know, it could take longer. Um, they've come to me as a quick as, a quick as two or three days. Um, four days, you know, just depends on when they ship. And of course, you know, it depends on the post office and how far away you are. I'm probably running my mouth too much now. Again, the larges are 10. The mediums are 8. And the smalls are 6. Um, again, email Miss Maria with the stamps that you want based on the L number, the LM or S number. And then give her your address in the email again so that she can um, tally up the shipping and get back to you and let you know and um, that's where we are right now I don't know if we're gonna go wait to go through the entire uh, Stampendous Stampabilities collection before we do another one of these or if we'll go halfway through share what is left after the halfway through and then go through the second half. Um, we haven't gotten that far yet. Um, so I, I hope you found something you've been looking for. Again, um, you're not going to find better prices anywhere else, especially for the condition of these wonderful uh, stamps and adorable mice. And um, with that, I'm going to close it out here. All the information is down in the description. Um, again, reach out to Miss Maria based on the code that is written on top of each stamp. And um, yeah, there we are. Good luck. I hope that you get to acquire um, something that you have been looking for. Um, I know that I've been very fortunate and so thankful to Miss Maria for reaching out to me, giving me this opportunity and giving y'all this opportunity because these are some absolutely wonderful images um, if you're wanting to add them to your your house mouse Stamparosa uh, collection. 
with that, I'm going to close it here. I love y'all to pieces. As always, happy crafting. Bye-bye.